After welding, make sure the drive shaft has cooled to room temperature. Then check both ends for straight. The splined end must be straight within five thousandths. Rotate the shaft to find the low, then set the dial indicator to zero. Rotate the shaft to find the high, and make a mark on the drive line. Heat straightening can be done anywhere along the drive line, on the ends or in the middle of the tubing. Remember always heat on the high side. Heat a small red spot about the size of a dime or a nickel. After heating the high spot, immediately cool the drive line. By heating on the high spot, the drive line will grow higher. Once it cools down, it will shrink. You can easily take 20, 30, 40 thousandths out of a drive line by heat straightening. Heat straightening can be done anywhere on the tube that is not in tolerance, in the middle or on the ends or even in between. Now the spline in is within 5 thousandths. Once the drive line is completely straight, you can now release the bearing caps, both on the tail and on the headstock. Be sure to slide out the locking sleeve. The drive line should be free floating at this point. Make sure the red safety hoops are in position before starting up the balancing procedure. Start up slowly, making sure the drive line is bolted securely. This drive line is a 1710 series, a fairly big shaft. Westport recommends a maximum balancing speed of 1500 RPM for shafts larger than 1610. Locate the end that is worst out of balance. Carefully advance the marker until it just makes contact with the spindle. Stop the machine, then rotate the spindle by hand until you find the heaviest marked area. This is where you will place the weight on the tube of the drive line. Tightly secure the weight to the tube with the provided velcro strap. Always use safety cages when balancing with weights. Start the balancer and watch the dial indicator. If the shaft is not within two thousandths, simply rotate the weight a little until the shaft is balanced. This may require adding or subtracting weights. After balancing the first end, now proceed to the opposite end and repeat the same process. Place the weight in line with the mark on the spindle. In this case, it will be placed on the slip yoke. Balancing is about adding the correct amount of weight to make the shaft run true. At this point, you are almost finished. Double check each end to be sure the dial indicators for running within two thousandths of an inch. After the shaft is balanced, mark the weight's location and remove the velcro strap. Two small tack welds will be sufficient to hold the weights in place.